as you know, we have uh, formed three ministerial committees. Um, one involving the next of kin, another on technical, and one more on the deployment of assets. Uh, on behalf of the committee on assets, uh, I would like to announce that we have deployed one more vessel from Malaysia, uh, the Bergamas Nam, which is uh, um, an auxiliary vessel uh, on the way uh, to um, Perth. So it shows that um, the effort for search and rescue, especially on the part of Malaysia, is not slowing down. We are going to continue and the information that uh, comes in from JACC and from Angus Houston is still ongoing. Secondly, um, I've also arranged for the um, um, reports and also updates regarding the three committees uh, to be distributed to the press uh, frequently. And as you know, the three deputy ministers are, are leading these committees. Thirdly, um, cabinet today, unfortunately I, I'm not in cabinet because of our function here, uh, will be discussing uh, a paper uh, with regards to the uh, expert panel of inquiry uh, that is going to be set up. This is a part of ongoing process for transparency um, to show to the world that actually Malaysia does not have anything uh, to, to, to hide. Uh, in respect of MH370, but let these committees, these inquiries uh, continue so that the, the work at hand at the moment, which is the search and rescue, which is uh, even a more complex uh, phase that we are going through underwater, um, continues. So as we are looking at the search and rescue, and as we're moving underwater with the um, new tech, uh, uh, newish uh, technology that is required in the next phase. Parallel uh, agree, uh, arrangements on, on the law, on the committees, on the experts, that has been going on. And I'm, I'm very proud to say that these committees have had many, many meetings, nearly every day actually. And um, that we have done very quietly without any fanfare. Well, I, I think as far as Malaysia is concerned, and I can only speak for Malaysia, uh, we will know, we will not scale them. And this is a promise that I've made to the families of the passengers and we will continue. Um, but as we move forward, um, and there might be occasions where some of the countries might want to scale down, there are other countries that have come forward. And we just have to find creative ways uh, to, to do that. We have friends in the Middle East who wants to assist, but they do not have the assets uh, to be of direct assistance. We have to find ways and means on, on how they can continue or uh, begin uh, to assist. So the 26 countries that started with us on this journey can, can be increased to a lot more uh, as we move on to the next phase. But I will not announce it until there's more concrete development on so that part.